Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to start with our forum project. So the first thing I'm going to do is run Laravel new Laravel forum. And that's going to be the name of our project. Great. So you can see that our project has been generated. I'm going to change directory into the Laravel forum folder. And then I'm going to run the command PHP Addison make auth. Awesome. So scaffolding of authentication has been done in the application. I'm just going to open up this application in my code editor. So I'm just going to go right down into the roots folder, go to my valet folder, and then I'm just going to search for the Laravel forum project right here. Awesome. Found it. Okay. So that's my Laravel forum project. And you can see just a basic Laravel forum and we are running on level 5.8, which is the coolest version of Laravel ever. Awesome. So now that we have that, the first thing we want to do in this project is make sure we check our browser to see that everything works perfectly. So Laravel forum dot ping. Great. So we have our project right there in the browser. Looks like everything is fine. We have authentication. So we're going to create a database for this. So I'm just going to log into MySQL and then I'm just going to create database level form. I'm just going to exit, come to my environment file and make sure the database is level form. The username is root and the password is empty. So I'm also going to change the app URL and this is something fun that we could do. You could do valet secure if you're using Lavo Valley. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually add HTTPS to your local computer. Okay. So if you're not using Valet, I'm not sure how exactly you can do this, but it's just a really fun thing to do on your development environment, right? So right now I can use HTTPS. And great, you can see it's just like a live application. Okay, so let's go right here and I'm going to change the URL to level forum dot ping. Okay, and I'm just going to change the name of this project to level forum. All right, so seems like we're good to go. The next step is for us to create some essential models and migrations that we need in the application. The first one we're going to create in is the discussion model. So PHP Asan make model discussion with its migration. Okay. I forget the M. Awesome. So if we go to the create discussions table, we're going to decide exactly what fields we need in the discussions table. The first thing we need is a string field for the title. So I'm just going to have a table string right here, and this is going to be the title of the discussion that the user is creating. Then we're going to have one as a text for the content of this discussion. And then we are going to learn something new, which is slogs. So right here, I'm going to have a string and this is going to be a slog field. And what is going to happen is this slog field is going to have a slog representation of the title. So if the title is what is level, the slog is going to be what is Lava like this. Okay. So this is really going to be useful instead of having IDs in the URL. So I'm going to teach you this so that you can actually use it in your real world projects. Okay. So the next thing we want to have here is a user ID so that we know which specific user is creating this discussion. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to have table integer user underscore ID. Okay. And this is the foreign key for the user stable. Finally, I'm going to add something right here, and this is going to be an integer for the channel underscore ID. And this is going to be the channel that this discussion belongs to, which means that we need a channel table to be able to have different channels of discussion and think of channels as topics. We can have a Laravel channel, we can have a Vue.js channel and so on. So now that we have the discussion stable set up, let's generate the channel migration Add make model channel. And this is also going to have a migration. So if we go to the channel stable, all we need in this case is table string. This is going to be name of the channel. And we also need a slog. 
so string is going to be slug and this is also going to be the slug version of the name and that's it so we can have a disc description if you want but i think this is cool now we have a channel model which is right here and we have a discussion model now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my own model class for common functionality between all models let me show you an example let's say i want to disable mass assignment on all of my models because i think it's really annoying well what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a model.php in this folder and then i'm going to simply make sure the namespace is up because that's our default namespace and i'm going to create a class model and in this model i'm going to make sure it extends the base model from Laravel, okay which is illuminate eloquent illuminate database eloquent model and i'm going to rename it so there's no name clash so as base model and i'm going to say extends base model okay so here i can define a protected guarded equals empty array and this is telling level this is the list of all fields from this database table that should be mass assignment protected which means if it's empty it means that none of the fields should be mass assignment protected okay so in our models we can go ahead and delete this which means that we are extending the model in this namespace which has disabled mass assignment isn't that awesome okay so we don't have to worry about mass assignment or the fillable property again so and this is really important in case you have functions or methods that are reusable in different models you can just go ahead and put them in this base model that you created for yourself okay so now that we have this we no longer have to worry about mass assignment we can even make the user model extend this but you know the user model is extending authenticatable which has a lot more functions from Laravel. okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a seed file so i'm just gonna say add make cedar and this is going to be channels table cedar okay so if we come to our database folder right now and check out seats we have a channel stable cedar so what do we want to do we want to create some default channels into our database so i'm just going to say channels and this is going to be channel from the user namespace and this is going to be create and i'll pass in an array with the details so the name in this case is going to be level 5.8 that's the first one and then the slog is going to be equal to string slog and this is a helpful level function that's going to help us generate the slog of a string and this is going to be level 5.8 string slog like that awesome so this is just one channel right here okay so we can create many channels so i'm just going to copy this and then this is going to be vue.js3 and the string slog version is going to be string slog vjs3 and i'm just going to copy this one for angular 7 so here i'm just going to add angular 7 and i'm just going to copy this and add angular 7 like that okay so one more so that we have four channels in our application and this is going to be node.js and i'm just gonna add node.js right here awesome so if we want this seed file it should create channels into our database so let's just come to our database cedar and we are going to call this call channels table cedar class okay so if we want add migrate seed you can see that it migrated and it seeded the channel stable and if we say add tinker and we say app slash channel which is the channel model and we call all to see all the channels you can see we have some really good channels right there in our database awesome okay so one thing we can do is go to the channels table 
And since we want the slug to be unique, we can add a unique constraint to the table by calling the unique method right here. And this is just going to make sure that the slug is never duplicated. We can do exactly the same thing with the discussions table so that this is always unique. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to show you in this lesson before we end it is the namespacing. So you can see right here we have app namespace and this is not what I do in my projects right what I do is I always try to change the namespace to match the name of my project so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the namespace php addison app name and this is going to be lavo form like that and you can see the namespace has been set if we come to our application now you can see the base namespace is lavo form if you check right here, level form. If we go to our channels table cedar, you can see it hasn't changed because this file was created by us, right? So we want to change this to level form. And if we come to a terminal and run add migrate refresh seed just to make sure everything still works great we have that working all right so in this lesson we've generated some critical models we've generated some seed files that are really important we went ahead and set up authentication and our application is actually ready to go in the next lesson we're just gonna jump ahead and start implementing some cool features